Yemen has always been struggling, but an 18-month war has crippled this country. Months of fighting have destroyed lives, leaving millions injured, homeless and starving. A four-month ceasefire gave people hope, but the moment we arrive, it collapses. This factory made potato crisps. Ten people were killed and 300 left jobless. The Saudis claim it was an arms depot, but the owner tells me there were absolutely no weapons or militants. This isn't the first factory to be targeted in Yemen. It's actually one of many. In fact, four factories in this compound alone have been hit and many others that this family owns across the country have also been completely demolished. Once Yemen's busiest port, now left at a standstill. A blockade imposed by the Saudi coalition to stop arms from reaching the rebels has caused severe delays in food and aid coming in. All the cranes have been destroyed by airstrikes, making it impossible to offload what does come through. In a country that relies on imports for 90% of its staple foods, the bombings and the blockade imposed by the Saudis has had a catastrophic effect on the humanitarian situation. Millions have been forced from their homes, living in makeshift camps like this one. We are suffering, he yells. Tell the world we're suffering. Half of Yemen's population is food insecure, which simply means they don't know where their next meal will come from. The people here tell me they feel forgotten. These brutal Saudis, they attack innocent civilians. They attack schools, markets, homes. Even people asleep at night, safe in their own homes, they come and bomb them. The Saudi government has denied deliberately targeting civilians and humanitarian supplies. Both sides in this conflict are accused of atrocities. And as with most wars, it's the people who pay the heaviest price. Nawal al-Makhafi, BBC News, Yemen.